This is question number 16 from GS paper 3 of mains 2022 examination. This question has three parts. What is the basic principle behind vaccine development? Second is how do vaccines work? And third is that what approaches were adopted by the Indian vaccine manufacturers to produce COVID-19 vaccines? We will start the answer with the basic principle behind vaccine development. The basic principle behind vaccine development is to produce immune memory by creating infection-like conditions in the body. This is like training army troops in war-like situation so that they can perform well in actual war. Next is how do vaccines work? Vaccine produces conditions similar to infection caused by a particular germ which may be a bacteria or a virus. For example, COVID vaccine produces conditions similar to COVID infection but without causing the disease. The infection-like condition produced by vaccine triggers the immune system to produce antibodies against specific germ. Immune system takes some days or weeks to produce enough antibodies and during this time it also produces memory cells. For example, vaccine for COVID produces antibodies against COVID virus and also immunogenic memory cells specific for COVID virus. In case of actual infection by COVID virus, these memory cells can immediately identify the COVID virus and rapidly produce antibodies to effectively kill all the COVID virus before they could develop disease. Same is the mechanism of working for vaccines for other infectious diseases. The vaccines that produce infection-like conditions may be made up of the following type of agents. First is that the vaccines may be made up of killed or inactivated germs. Example is the polio vaccine. Secondly, the vaccine may be made up of attenuated or weakened non-virulent germs. Example is MMR vaccine. Third is that vaccines may be made up of some protein part of germ, the protein part of germ that elicits germ specific immune response in the body. For example, Corbivax COVID vaccine is a protein subunit vaccine. Next is that vaccines may be made up of some genetically modified non virulent or harmless virus or bacteria that mimics the virulent virus or bacteria. For example, Covishield vaccine for COVID has been produced by genetic modification of adenovirus. Next is that vaccine may be made up of a part of DNA or mRNA of germ that infects the body cells and these cells produce proteins similar to those present on actual germs. The Zykov D is a DNA vaccine. All these vaccine agents elicit immune, immune response but they do not cause disease. Next is uh, approaches adopted by Indian vaccine manufacturers to produce COVID-19 vaccines. The various approaches adopted by different Indian COVID vaccine manufacturers are as follows. First is the Covishield. This vaccine uses recombinant adenovirus. This virus normally causes cold and flu in chimpanzees. The recombinant adenovirus has been genetically modified to carry genes responsible for spike proteins of COVID-19 due to which it mimics COVID-19 virus. This vaccine is being produced by Serum Institute of India. Next is Covaxin. This vaccine contains inactivated COVID-19 virus. Inactivated means virus is in intact but it neither multiply nor causes disease. This vaccine is being manufactured by Hyderabad based Bharat Biotech Limited. Next is Corbivox. So this, is, this vaccine is actually a protein subunit vaccine for COVID-19 virus. It contains a part of spike protein. This protein part is prepared by DNA recombinant technology. The vaccine was developed by an American institute, but in India, it is being manufactured under license by Biological E Limited. Next is Zykov D. It is a DNA plasmid. Uh, it is a DNA plasmid-based COVID-19 vaccine. It contains a DNA segment of COVID-19 virus. This DNA segment, when enters the human cells, it produces proteins of COVID-19 virus on the surface of human cells. 
This vaccine has been developed by Cadilla Healthcare Limited of India. So these are the different types of the vaccines and the different approaches adopted uh, for making these uh, vaccines.